So hi everyone. Today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Harsh with us. So Harsh, would you like to introduce yourself once? Yes, yeah, sure. My name is Harsh. Currently, I am a second year student at Skiller School of Technology and Bits Pilani. You'll be amazed to know that I am in two colleges at once. I'll tell you about this in later yeah. in this video. Along with that, I am also a backend intern at Dukan, where I have been building the platform for the product in Dukan. And yeah, that was a short brief about me. And the amazing thing is that he has got an internship at Dukan, which is a product-based company, and he has been able to do so in his first year itself. Yeah. And generally, when people enter first year, they don't do any coding; they just, you know, try to have fun and all. I have never heard of anyone studying coding in first year itself and then getting an internship. Yeah. So it's a pretty amazing feat, and we're going to know everything about how he was able to do so. So, I start us off with how did you start coding? You know, when did you start coding, and you know, were able to learn so many things that you could get an internship? Yeah. So before I jump into the coding part, I'll tell you about the uh, a short brief about uh, how I got into the code, uh, computer science and all. So like when I was in class twelfth, I had IP that was information practices as my subject in my curriculum, and like it had some topics such as DBMS and Python, Pandas, etc. So when I learned those things, I got very interested. I got very enthusiastic about all those. topics and all so i thought of computer science to like i thought that why not pursue computer science as a career so from then uh, i uh, took a drop year to uh, for j iit j preparation where i got at around 96 percentile in my j mains and then i so like i was looking for colleges uh, for computer science obviously so then i got to know about scalar and then i came here after coming here from the very first day i dived into the coding thing like from the very first day i was like installing linux going through like what all commands are there in linux and then in the very first month i started with dsa so like i would say instead of enjoying a lot uh, from the very first day i uh, kept myself motivated for the academics uh, from the very beginning hmm. yeah and uh, you know being a first year student how was it experiencing an internship you know mm -hmm. like how was it working at a product based company while being in first year mm -hmm. the experience was like pretty good like i got to know about how things actually work in the development how like what happens when a code uh, like a when a production fails like when our code is pushed in the production yeah. and it breaks <laughs> so like i yeah. have like experienced all this thing in the this three months And like first year itself, yeah, in the first year itself, and like it has been amazing to like uh, work with the guys who has already five to ten years of experience, learn from them. So it's pretty good for me, as well as my career, I think. Hmm. Right. Right. And how about the interviews? You know, because I always wonder when first year or second years go for the interview of internship, mm -hmm. what are the expectations from them? Do they focus on DSA? Do they focus on development? What exactly goes with the interviews? Okay, so recently, like I have been involved in a lot of interviews. Like I have been trying to uh, interview, like uh, give interviews in different companies. So, like at around six to seven interviews, I have already given. And from all those six to seven interviews experience, I can say that the main uh, agenda and the main idea behind them to hire interns is to know that how much they're uh excited to learn and like how critical like how critical they can think to solve problems and like uh, uh for first year student i think they mainly look at what they like how good they at at learning things so this is what i feel after giving those 7 to 8 interviews and uh, in the interviews what question, what type of questions did they ask did they test your framework knowledge programming knowledge or about your dsa knowledge your dsa problems what more were you asked of like those things varied from interviews to interviews initially when i was giving interviews in a very in new startups very new startups they mainly asked me about the development so since i am mainly focused in backend development they asked me about node javascript and all and good questions from them and then after when i tried to give interviews for some good startups 
they mainly start with dsa questions a good medium to hard level dsa question and then later in the interview they ask questions about development also and some different companies that are above startup and like well established company they mainly have started asking designs also system design also so since i have not learned a lot about those things so like i just uh, couldn't answer those things in the interview so i just said that i'm not i have not learned them so yeah those things have also been asked in the interviews which i think should not be asked from a first year student <laughs> yeah exactly even uh, mm-hmm. for freshers i feel system design might be too much and if you yeah. take a college student and expect them to know system design obviously it is a little bit too overwhelming right he was amazed when he said that do you know system design like he was expecting me <laughs> from a very like from second year student only to like answer those yeah hmm yes so if we keep system design apart you still had to go through dsa you still had to go through development right yes. so how did you you know manage with dsa and development how did you get good at dsa and you know like get good in back end wow initially we started with data structures and algorithms only like for the initial months i learned languages like java my main language is java so i learned like for loop while loop and basic stuffs of languages then after learning the Uh, basics of languages i started with the dsa so i think at around 1.5 or 2 months i learned the basics of dsa and then uh, as i was getting better with the dsa i also started development uh, along with that and in development started with html css javascript and then after uh, started with other frameworks so it is not like uh, initially uh, like first i completed dsa and then i moved to development uh it, it is like uh, i want i am taking both of them equally good and learning both of them at the same time hmm right right and that's the correct approach you know according to me that's the approach i also tell students to follow you should not wait for your dsu to get over and then jump into development dsa is more like a continuous process yeah. and you have to you know man- manage development along with it it's best if you do both in parallel right yeah like recently also like i have been getting messages on youtube and like instagram also that bhaiya what to start with i mean i am entering first year like should i start with dsa <laughs> or development yeah. so i always tell them like start with dsa first and as you get comfortable with coding start then development along with that hmm. Hmm. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, were there any resources that you used, like any paid or any free resources? Like what type of resources you had used in your learnings? So since I'm in Scala School of Technology, the all these things of uh, stuffs related to coding, DSA development, and all are taken care by the college only. So I had not to worry about those resources and all. But yeah, after since it has been a year now, and like they have. taught us what things to learn and from where to learn so now what i follow is uh, when i have to learn new concepts i google it out i read uh, all the articles good articles that are present on the internet and then i try to build up on them whatever i have learned from them so this is about the D- uh, development and about the dsa what i do is what i suggest to other people to also like start with a topic Uh, learn its basic concepts and then start uh, solving a, a problems that is the only way uh, how we will learn to uh, solve problems hmm right right and uh, that is like that is what i also explain in my videos as well you need to be good with the concepts also yeah. before you cannot jump directly into the problems right yes. first you need to be good at coding you need to be good in the concepts and then you can move to problem solving yeah. and be eventually better at it right yes yes yeah so like if a person is thinking of like how to start a dsa i would say learn the basic hmm. concepts of the dsa like uh, topics first and then you are learning yeah. those concepts try to solve basic problems of those and once you are done with those basic problems then try to solve the good level hmm. questions and that is the way you will be able to like uh, perform good in data structures hmm right 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 you cannot move directly to the hard problems you have to move your way up with the easy problems right yeah. you have to start off with the most basic problems even like 
yeah do some and all the easiest of lead code gfg problems yeah. and then move your way up from there yeah many people also like what do what they do is they started they start uh, directly like they, they directly jump into the solution they try to watch through the tutorials and all so like it is yeah that is very bad i think that ruins the whole momentum of a person learning so don't fall into that trap of uh, like that is tutorial hell don't fall into that hmm yeah because the main thing is if you're able to solve a problem yourself right you'll learn a lot from it but if you solve a problem by looking at the solution then you'll not be able to solve the same problem again even yeah right so it's important that you first give it your all before jumping into the solution so i'm very impressed that you know you're able to get all of these things while you are in first year itself right yeah. so it's pretty amazing to see generally you're not able to see those kind of awareness this kind of awareness in first year or second year students even so on a final note for people watching this video you know for people who are let's say entering first year of their college they also want to have a good career in computer science they also want to crack internships in product based companies yeah. you know so what advice would you give to those people so that you know they can also do something similar to what you were able to yeah for people who are entering the college now uh, like who are in first or second month of their college i would say like you may have enjoyed the first or second month of their college till now so jump into the coding part start learning with the basics and don't think don't think that uh, don't wait for the uh, internships to like uh, like college will organize some uh, camps and all for the internships and just just start learning with the concepts solve problems build projects and eventually you will not be dependent on the college you you only will be able you will be able to directly apply apply to the portals and all and you will be able to crack them by your own not without any help of the college so start from the beginning only don't wait for the time to come hmm correct yeah okay so i guess that covers pretty much everything about hush journey to cracking to khan getting his first internship and uh, uh, thanks a lot hush for coming on my channel sharing this all i really hope it will be motivational to a lot of students who are in their first year second year third year who you know want to go ahead and crack internships crack placements yeah. and you know get to their dream job it would be really motivational to see yeah. so if anyone still has any doubt or they want to learn something from hush or they want to ask something from hush so i'll give his linkedin in the description from there you can contact him follow him from there so again thanks a lot hush hope to see you again in another video yeah thank you so much and viewers i i'm also uh, like i have also started youtube videos so like if you want to see my journey how i'm going how how what all things i have been learning you can follow my uh, youtube also i'll i'll be uh, asking asish to put down in the description yeah having a good college is very important in a student's life so like if you want to go in a very good college jahan pe coding culture bahut acha ho so like if you want to join skill school of technology uh, i'll be sharing my link where you can apply directly for the skill and you'll also get some discount on the application so yeah check out the description for that yeah so the link to his channel will also be in the description you guys can follow him from there subscribe to his channel watch his videos so yeah again thanks for watching thank you so much